This is the Senyo Ultra Short Throw Projector that's in uh, quite a few schools, connected here to an interactive whiteboard. We've got a filter warning showing. That means that the filter has become clogged with some dust and uh, we need to clean it. And you would normally clean this once every couple of weeks because most classrooms are quite dusty and that fan in there sucks rather than blows. First thing we need to do is turn the projector off. So press the power button, the red power button, twice to turn the projector off. Get yourself a good sturdy ladder and set it up underneath the projector. This one's uh, quite a good stepping one. And uh, step up towards the top of the projector. You'll see two little notches there. And what you need is a coin to leverage out those two uh, little notches, which will lift the filter out. So it's just a uh, pop-up. You grab it with your fingers then. And what you'll find is uh, a fair bit of dust probably caked on the uh, projector filter. You need to take that away from the projector, blow off all the uh, surface dust that you might see around there. Actually, it's probably better to leave that surface dust on first, um, on the outside, until you put the filter back. Tap all the dust off it. Uh, don't wash it. You can use a vacuum cleaner if you want to, but always do it with the filter out of the projector. So just keep tapping that projector filter. Uh, you can brush it with your hand, you can brush it with a brush. You just need to get as much of that dust off as possible so that it looks quite clean uh, as it does here on both sides. Head back up to the projector and slot it back in exactly the same way as it came out. If there's surface dust on those vents there, just brush it off with your hand uh, or with uh, a dry cloth of some type because uh, that fan, as I said, is sucking, not blowing, and that's the dust that it's sucking in. Next thing to do, turn your projector on. Uh, you need to wait for a little bit. The little green light will show up, and the projector will start its countdown to turn on. Then we need to turn the filter warning off. So the first thing is to press the menu button. Press the left arrow button once to put the red box around the spanner on the right-hand side. Press the up arrow three times to go to the filter section. Press the select button. You'll get this uh, code, you want to press select again, and now you'll get your section with the um, filter. Press the down arrow once to the reset option, and press OK. Now even though you've said yes, you want to set, reset the filter, you've got to go up arrow to go to yes, and then OK or select again. And saying, are you sure again? Yes, I am, up arrow again, and select one more time. From that point, you've now reset the counter before the filter warning will come back again. Press the menu button to get rid of that menu.